Hi, First Baptist. I'm glad to talk to you on this beautiful East Tennessee week as we are just awash in colors around here. Every time I drive down one of the major thoroughfares in town, I look at the changing colors every morning. It seems like there's a couple of trees that just jump out at me and I'm reminded of the beauty of God's creation, just like we are every fall here in Northeast Tennessee. I wanna to talk to you about a few special events coming up. The first one will be this Sunday afternoon. At 4 p.m., Dr. Paul Ridgway will be giving a piano recital in our sanctuary. Paul and I have a long and deep friendship. He was our minister of music for several years at First Baptist Gatlinburg. He was a longtime professor at Carson Newman, and he has his PhD in piano performance from Northwestern University. Paul is an accomplished pianist, and I believe you'll be blessed by coming at four o'clock to hear Paul. Next Wednesday is our fall festival. What a splendid time that is, as we get to celebrate with children from around our community. It's also a chance for us to reach out to our community, so I hope you're already in touch with Wes about how you can help the trunk or treat part or some other part. It's a great way to witness to our community. After that, we get really, really close to the election. And I know you're praying. I hope the 40 days of prayer we're sending out every morning is helping you to pray. And I hope that no matter what happens in the election, we will be able to retain our Christian grace toward whomever wins and whomever loses. Now, we voted our budget last Sunday, and I want to thank Rick Johnson and our finance committee for a very disciplined approach to that and we unanimously approved it in both services. So that, that means that this week we start our stewardship promotion emphasis. And our emphasis this year is simply entitled gifted. And we're gonna look at five ways that we are gifted. Sunday, we're gonna look to a couple of guys whose names will not be familiar to you. At least they're not familiar to me. And we're gonna look at how God told them that they were gifted to serve. Gifted for serving, that's what you and I are. The Bible tells us that each of us has a spiritual gift. Paul is specific about those gifts and about how there's not a pecking order of them. They're not to be utilized for our benefit, for, but for the benefit of Jesus Christ Church. So Sunday, we'll begin our emphasis on being gifted, talking about how you and I have been gifted by God to serve others and to serve God. You're gonna hear a testimony from one of the members of our Stewardship Promotion Committee, Dale Kelly. You're gonna see a video about one of the mission entities that we have here at First Baptist. It's gonna be a great day as we celebrate what God has done for us and what we can do for God. I also wanna remind you of one other special event that's on November 24th. We will that morning celebrate the Lord's Supper in both services and that afternoon we'll gather with the Christians from around Church Circle at First Presbyterian Church for our community Thanksgiving service. We'll be letting you know more about that. But in the meantime, I hope to see you on Sunday as we gather to worship God again. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the colors that remind us of the power of creation. Thank you for the smiles of faces of every generation in our church. Allow us to be purveyors of grace in these troubled times. We pray through Christ our Lord, amen.